Hey you guys, welcome back to His and Those Best, and I am back with another video for y'all. Alright, so I know I'm looking crusted and busted. But I am doing my potential maybe birthday shoot today. Um, yeah, so I am going to be throwing my own birthday photo shoot and I wanted to record and document my own makeup look and how I am going to beat this face i'm not going to i don't think i'm doing anything heavy i don't think i don't know but we'll see what this turns into so right now i am about to clean my canvas because yesterday i had on makeup and even though i had washed my face I woke up extremely oily in my skin and I hate that it's like I guess it's like the way that my oil I mean my face cleans itself like it's like trying to throw out all the oils so so I have not chosen what I look I'm going for but we are doing new products today so I'm going to be using the this e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer today. People have been ranting and raving about it. And I am going to be using lashes from my drum roll, please. <laughs> my new um my new line so i am starting a lash line and i'm going to be trying out some of my lashes on this video i haven't picked out a name for them yet but you guys can drop um some suggestions and i am trying out this new eyeshadow palette And this is how she looks in the inside. Yeah, she's giving you lots of different shades. I can go anywhere with this look. And it's called like Katrina. And it's a Delancey palette, if I'm not if I'm saying it right. And I want something like bright. Hmm. Alright you guys, so I am back and I did my brows and primed my lids. So, now I can go ahead and get started on my, um, I can go ahead and get started on my eyes I really don't have an idea of of how I want to do my eyes it's kind of like just letting creativity just flow I just know I want a cute fun look on my eyes that's why I decided to do color on the brows So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and go with a very neutral tone on the brow. I mean on the lid first just to get it ready. This should be fine. 
so I'm just using a regular fluffy type of brush and I'm going to go in ooh, with the shade I got it upside down with the shade uh family it's just a uh, like a shell white color and I'm just going to dab it in a little bit This is my first time using this palette, so I just want to basically create a base so that these colors can be able to blend better, so yeah. I'm just packing it on right now onto the lid because my eye lid color is very dark. I just want to brighten that up. yeah all right so i'm done with this palette for right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do my little my little garters for the eyeshadows that on and so now this is the fun part all right so now I have this palette it's not named I got this from Amazon and it has a lot of pretty um chrome shimmers on it and I am going to basically be doing this whole purple row because it has like the glitter and it has like a pink and purple shift and that's what kind of color I'm going for so let's see how this goes I'm just gonna build it up slowly because I don't want it to get out of control So every time I go over, I just keep adding more pigment little by little and just keep adding it in.
but it's looking pretty so far. So I'm packing it and then blending it out. Alright, this is going to take some time so I'll be back when I'm done. I'm just going to keep packing until I get the color that I desire. Alright you guys, so I'm back and I did a whole bunch of layering just because you don't want to go very heavy on the shadows because like they're very pigmented so I wanted to be able to control how much I wanted to disperse onto my eyes and so I was just doing little by little and um i also to deepen this shadow because it was it was a little light um i went also with my um blueberry palette on um this top shade right here so just a little bit to just deepen it yeah so i just wanted to deepen deepen it so that they both match and then um so now i am going to go with the lighter shade up at the top and with that i'm going to use a um packing brush i don't know if you guys can see that it is a packing crease brush so I am going to just be very generous with this and yeah, let's just see what it's giving. This shade I might have to do with my finger because it's not really looking like this is really light. And not how I wanted it to be. But it doesn't really matter because I'm putting a shimmer on top. But let me see. Yeah, I feel like when you do it with your finger, you could just like pack more of that color on there. Yeah, that's what I was going for.
sometimes you just gotta get in there with your finger because brushes I mean they get the job done but not the way your finger could just layer on that So this is how both of the colors are looking so far. I'm not really trying to add so much um, like blue because the shimmer is going on the top. So it doesn't really matter. I, but you just need like that base. So yeah, this is how it's looking so far. And then I am going to go with that third shade and marry the two with the, in the center so that way it just blends evenly So this is how both colors are looking so far on the eyes. It's giving me very much, you know, blue and purple. That's really cute. But now I'm going to add the shimmer on the top of the blue. Or should I do the middle? Hmm. So I always add my shimmers with my finger. Just for like so I'm using that middle shade. And I'm um, just going in with my fingers, not wet or anything, but I think I might wet my So, it's purple right there in the center, I mean, yeah, in the center. And I'm thinking about maybe layering some maybe some blue next to it So I think I am going to add some um, some eye I mean some eye glue I'm going to go ahead and use this um, this hard candy um, liquid shimmer Um, this is in the shade Galactic, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand, and then um, place it on the center.
so the thing with this is you have to let it fully dry before you start adding anything else to it because if not um it would just take the the um the eyeshadow from right underneath it so i'm trying to let that dry for a second so this is where we are with the eyes so far So there's this other blue shimmer that I have. I'm just adding that on top because it has also has purple shimmers on it. Alright, so that's it for that. And I'm going to add the lashes afterwards. So I guess now I can show y'all the peel porn. You got that crispy little wing. And then, you know, I always do a little one two clean up. So now I'm going to go on to doing my full face off camera and I'll be back um, and show you guys my finished look. And, you know, also I'll be adding on my uh, lashes. And yeah, so I'll be back with my finished look, you guys. So, all right, you guys. So I am back and this is the finished look so i added my lashes and hold on so um i used this palette the shade fireworks on the inner corner and what else did i do Oh, and I used um, the shade um, Feast on the lower lash. Well, on the waterline. So, yeah. So, this is what my look is giving. And then I just put my hair down. I was going to curl it, but I just left it down and yeah so this is the finished look and then you know i added my my line lashes so these are um false lashes it's not individual lashes it's a whole um lash um i'm still trying to think of names so if you guys know of any names drop them down in the comments down below because I'm going to be coming out with some different different ones from a wisp to natural looking lashes because I do tend to use lashes a lot more often in my makeup looks so I might as well start selling them myself you know and yeah and they're very um 
you know beginner friendly so yeah so anyway thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any um suggestions on any other videos you guys would like to see drop them down in the comments down below and until next time stay beautiful and blessed